Hey guys, welcome back. Um, recently Eckhart Slaughter did a um YouTube video on um what do you want to see frigates bad, and I thought I'd add my two cents to this because you know that's what YouTubers do, you know. Um, but, but I really thought that he missed out on a couple of points that he really could have taken advantage of, you know. And I think there are a few things that he also overlooked in terms of what was actually happening. Now. The first things to take into account when you're talking about were they bad is what was going on at the time. Now, a lot of people don't really know too much about the pre-Covenant War. So, I'll spell it out to you. Essentially, at the time, there was a insurrection going on. So, Earth and UEG, United Earth Governments, as well as the inner colonies, had a civil war going with other colonies. Now, this is really complex. I'm not going to go too far into it. I'm just going to summarise. But essentially, these insurrections were really pissed off with everyone else, so they thought, hey, you know what, let's attack you. So, essentially, the UNSC was now spread out. So, they, you know, they were trying to hold their hold ground on multiple planets. You know, they were trying to push back against opponents. And, you see, the, the insurrectionists weren't just doing a, they weren't doing a regular war, they were doing a guerrilla war. You know, you, they'll, oh, they'll hit you here on this planet, and then, you know, they'll pull out, and then they'll hit you on another planet, or they'll, you know, take out this part of the planet, or they'll work their way into the political system of this planet. That's what was really going on. See, first of all, that's one of the reasons why the frigate wasn't actually that big capable. Now, or actually, no, that's one of the reasons why Eckhart Slider said, you know, when he was talking about, oh, well, why didn't they use destroyers? That's one of the reasons. They just did not have many destroyers. You know, destroyers were designed as ships to take down enemy capital ships, you know, or the larger enemy warships. And whereas, and you know, they were so much more expensive, you know, they were slightly bigger, you know, more complex armor, more complex weaponry. You know, so compared to a frigate, which is, des which is designed for, you know, orbital combat, you know, anti-ship combat, but it's also designed, get this, for tactical deployment. And you see, this comes very useful when dealing with a spread out opponent force. You know, so that's the first reason why there were not many destroyers. That's the reason why there weren't many destroyers. Um, so what was, why was the frigate constantly getting destroyed? Well, then we have to take into account the UNSC tactics in combat. The UNSC were based around a tactic of the Mac gun is the weapon, right? You, know, you use the Mac gun to sink the enemy ship in as few shots as possible. You know, so if my if there's an enemy within a hundred meters of me, right, you know, or I'm in within Mac range, I'm going to shoot you, which is essentially the fundamental of the combat. Yeah, you know, the way they used it was Mac gun, really slow rate of fire, but one ultra heavy round which knocks out all ships in one go. And this is one of the reasons why the UNSC didn't have too many capital ships. First of all, population, but second of all, again, the insurrection. You see, the UNSC did not have any need for giant capital ships that kick ass. You know, oh yeah, that's useful, but that's not the reason why they had them. You know, yeah, they needed big, powerful battle groups, true, I will completely agree with that. The thing is, though, is when you're dealing with a small, spread out enemy, you're not going to be engaging them in giant warship battles where you'll giant cruisers or destroyers or carriers are going to be useful you're going to be engaging where corvettes and frigates will be more useful you know and the problem was with the unsc ships weapons with the mac gun i'm going to come back to this now the mac gun is just not designed to take on a covenant ship again the theory of their design is one shot wipe out all the enemy systems and then pummel them into the divine beyond using whatever other weapons you have. However, when the enemy has shields or can absorb most of that damage, you're suddenly sitting dark because you now only have light penetrating weapons. You know, and they have plasma, which just burns through your hull. Also, the other thing is, is that the UNSC ships do not have shielding. Like, this is the thing, when you argue, and then of course, I love it how Eckhart Slaughter got it completely right though, okay? He got it completely right with this bit. They really have this design thing, 
you know, different frigate designs do different things. You know, one will carry long swords and that for engaging enemy aircraft, enemy aircraft, enemy ground defences, you know, for bombing and strike missions. You know, the other one will be optimised for troop deployments, and other one's just all-rounder. See, that's the thing. They're all optimised for each different thing. And, of course, you must take into account that they just were not designed for the combat situation that they were put in. You want to see was never thinking about fighting the Covenants. They didn't even know aliens existed, right? You know, this is the thing. You want to see couldn't was never planning to fight against the Covenant and hold their own. You see, and that's why the ship was fight was fundamentally failing in combat. You know, no ship that you want to see had could hold its own against the equivalent class that the Covenant had. So you just never stood a chance. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one.